Hi, this is problem 8 from the 2017 AIM. Two real numbers, A and B, are chosen independently and uniformly at random from the interval 0 to 75. Let O and P be two points on the plane with OP of length 200. Let Q and R be on the same side of OP, such that the degree measures of POQ and POR are A and B respectively, and angles OQP and ORP are both right angles. The probability that length QR is less than 100 is m over n. Find the sum m plus n. Okay, well this is pretty wordy, so let's see if we can break this down and sort out uh, this geometry information. So it looks like we have line OP, and we have points Q and R on the same side of OP such that OQP and ORP are both right angles. So that seems important. So that's a right angle. And this is a right angle. And what that means simply is that the points R and Q have to lie in a semicircle. And that seems important. We're also told that uh, QOP is angle A and ROP is angle B. And angles A and B are selected uniformly at random from the interval 0 to 75. It looks like we're trying to figure out how we can relate this angle information to the probability that the line RQ is less than length 100. And looking at that, this semicircle looks like it comes in really handy because this semicircle has radius 100. So the condition that the chord RQ is less than 100 is kind of the same condition that this angle is less than 60 degrees. <clears throat> so now we've related this length to this angle, so we've made some progress here. And this angle, we can relate to the numbers A and B because this angle is equal to the arc angle RQ, and the ang arc angle RQ is just RP minus QP, and we can figure out those arc angles from the angles A and P. So we then find that 2 times b, the arc angle rp, minus 2a, the arc angle qp, has to be less than 60 degrees in order for the chord rq to be less than length 100. So this is the condition that we're going to try to solve off of. So we can divide out by 2 to find out that we're looking for the condition now that the angle B minus A absolute value has to be less than, excuse me, 30 degrees. And it looks like we can work with this now. So let's see what is the probability that the difference between B and A is equal to 30 degrees. So let's try to figure out how we're selecting our points B and A. They're being selected uniformly at random from the interval from 0 to 75. So that sets up a probability rectangle. And the diagonal line is the condition where A is equal to B. And the shaded region shown is the condition where B minus A is less than 30 degrees. So really, our task now is to find out what is the ratio of this shaded area to the entire probability rectangle? And that uh, ratio looks to be the same as the ratio of this smaller stripe relative to the triangle shown. And we can calculate that now with similar triangles because the ratio of the smaller stripe to the larger triangle is equal to 1 minus the area of the small triangle to the larger triangle, and that's just 45 
divided by 75 squared, that's 1 minus 3 fifths squared, and that's equal to 1 minus 9 twenty fifths, or 16 over 25. That's a reduced fraction. 16 plus 25 is equal to 41. And that's our final answer. Anyway, I hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.